Good morning everyone, good evening and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Denzomos and you are welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom and the channel of breaking empaths free. If you are new on this channel I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse. I talk about spirituality and I talk about personal and self-development. And if any of that was honest with you, I invite you guys to join us, give us a like, share this video with friends and you may subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back. And I thank you for your love and support. I hope everyone is having a beautiful weekend. The weather is okay. <clears throat> and everything is going as planned. Now, first of all, if you're not a chosen one, do not try to make your, do not try to fit this video in your situation, you know. The chosen ones, they know themselves. If you're not a chosen one, first of all, go and ask yourself those questions. I've done so already some videos, are you a chosen one or not? And if you know that you're a chosen one, then of course, you're going to benefit from this video. If you're not a chosen one, if you're one of the people I'm talking about, the evil people, this video is going to trigger you. So you're not going to like this content. First of all, let us talk about the evil people. Evil people vibrate at a very low frequency. Evil people, they are hateful, they are jealousy, they are envious. So, they have got a whole lot of deficit in emotional intelligence. So, there's a reason as to why they chose to do evil, evil things. To be able to achieve whatever it is they want in life or they want for life so they have got a deficit in so many things but at the same time evil people also have a tendency of destroying very good people even sometimes the people that are in their lives to help them to protect them to elevate them in life and most of the times they are doing this unconsciously so they could do it consciously of course they may think that they are conscious of whatever it is they are doing but usually they are actually unconscious so they are not they are not aware of the aftermath of their actions and uh, the things that they have chosen to do and the path that they have decided to take now, I'm going to break down this video in so many ways. So, it, it is going to help you to add the puzzles and put the dots together to see what exactly has been your own situation. Have you noticed, as a black sheep, that's how the, I'll start with the black sheep. Did you know that when you ever detach from your toxic family unit, did you know that actually their life will never be the same? Those families will never be the same. Do you know the reason as to why you have left a dysfunctional family unit and then you start to hearing you start hearing about family members who have actually lost their businesses, some of them have passed on, some of them have died, some of them are in hospitals, some of them have lost their children, some of them have there's so many things that have, uh, that have happened in those families. Do you know the reason as to why? We'll come to that later. As a chosen one, of course, probably you have been uh, entangled with uh, a very dysfunctional individual. This can be a narcissist, can be a psychopath, can be a sociopath. Have you asked yourself a question as to why the moment you unplugged out of that situation, 
Do you know the real reason as to why those individuals they are struggling without you? They can barely feed themselves. They can barely dress up themselves. In worst case scenarios, they have passed on, or sometimes you can find situations whereby they can never get up on their feet. Now, there is things that are happening spiritually, ladies and gentlemen, that you guys don't understand and many people don't even talk about. Chosen people are the earth angels. Chosen people, they are earth angels. There is no chosen person in this universe I know that ever gets involved with anyone and their intentions is to destroy them. Because a chosen person gets into relationships with uh, good intentions, okay? They wish the best for you. That is number one. They want to elevate you. They want to support you. Which means that for them getting into a relationship with you, they will first of all see and measure the pureness of your heart. Sometimes, of course, they are tricked into meaningless relationships because they have got these other people who actually try to mirror them. And sometimes they get into very dangerous, toxic relationships. It has, it has happened all the time, but usually their intentions are pure, you know? Now, it doesn't matter who you are, ladies and gentlemen. Those individuals, you have got to know, they are earth angels. It is the reason as to why some people get into friendships with you and they bring you closer to them. And instead of loving you, they, they start to torment you. You know what I mean? They start to abuse you. They start to torment you. There is something within you. It is shining so bright within their spirit. And they cannot understand where that energy is coming from. A lot of times they are with you, but at the same time you are actually triggering them. I have started this video by saying that you are not a chosen one. These are the videos that are going to trigger you. So you're going to get triggered. So you're not a chosen one, then you'd better keep scrolling. Now, I remember encountering a witch back in the days. In my early days, of course, I wasn't awakened and uh, I didn't know who I am back in the days. So I encountered this person, this person was a witch. And this person tried to take me out. So, there is stuff that they may have done, of course, you know, you, you guys know what witches do. They kind of try to do these concussions and they try to do these spells and all the things like that. Eventually, this person tried to take me out and uh, I got involved in a very, very serious accident back in the days. But of course, God was with me, I survived. And from that moment for, uh, forwards, we have never set eyes on each other. So that's the moment when actually we departed. We went separate ways. As I'm talking, ladies and gentlemen, this person, they're going through it all. There's nothing is working for them. Now, these kind of stories, I've usually mentioned them in my videos to give you examples, but your own, situ your own situation may be different. Do you know the real reason as to why a lot of these evil people, they have tried to take you out. They have tried to poison you. It has failed. They have taken the money from you. That man has come back to you tenfold, a hundredfold. They have, they have taken your belongings. You have got everything that they took from you. Uh, uh, they have ever taken from you back to you. Now, let me tell you something. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a very big danger when you are fighting with an earth angel. You are fighting with somebody who has got a very big backup behind them. You can talk about angels on their backs, ancestors, the universe, God. They have got a whole divine team behind them. 
so you could be doing things on the physical level and you think that okay so you are doing these things to hurt them most of the times you could even sometimes have delayed their progress and their lives in one way shape or form but let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen the only thing you will ever do to those people yes you are going to delay them they may face some delays they may face, uh, face hardships some of them could be even sometimes rendered homeless but I can guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, this is something what evil people do not understand. Everything they take from you, anything they take from you, it usually comes back to you. But let me tell you something. The karma that is coming towards their way, they are not going to be able to handle that. The karma, the karma is going to slap them so hard in the face. They may fall down face flat on the ground, ladies and gentlemen. They will never be able to get up. The only way you will ever be forgiven for messing with an earth angel is when you have come around and actually apologized for whatever it is you've done to them. We know that that, does, that doesn't always happen. That if, if, an evil person will come around and apologize to you for doing very dirty stuff behind your back. You know what I mean? I've never got an apology. Um... From the narcissistic parent i've never got an apology from my exes but i'm looking back and i'm seeing that actually they are having it rough you know because you see an evil person to come to you and apologize for whatever whatever it is they have done to you it's like for example a very big blow in their ego it's, an, it's, a, it's a very big blow for their ego so they are kind of like they do not know how can I come and apologize for something they have done to you? They don't know how to do that. You know what I mean? And most of the, most of the times, it brings a very big shame to them. And they are finally uh, getting accountable or taking accountability for something what they have done to you, which they are not ready to do. So we all know that at the same time. But ladies and gentlemen, you have messed up with the chosen one. Ladies and gentlemen, there's something you have done to those individuals and you've caused them a very huge amount of suffering. You have brought a very big suffering in their lives. You are in for a very big surprise. This one I can guarantee you 110% and there's no, way to run out. there's no way to run away from it. I'll tell you something about Earth Angels. Earth Angels, they rarely... There are some words they cannot use because they're not on that frequency. So... They are not hateful, they are not vengeful, they are not envious, they are not in for the steal, they are not in for the kill. They are about a positive vibration. But now, you are bringing that negative vibration and negative energy towards them. And you are causing them a lot of pain. Number one, you are dimming, you are dimming their light. Probably you are putting them to sleep. And you are causing them a huge amount of pain. What really happens, ladies and gentlemen, that even, even people don't understand, is that now, when those, when those earth angels fall to the ground, they always get back up, because I've told you these guys they're divinely protected. They get back on their feet, and they continue walking. And most of the times, you could have found them walking. This time, they are going to run. Is the reason as to why you see a lot of these guys, the chosen ones. They keep on bouncing back. It's like whatever it is you do, some of sometimes they, they, sometimes a lot of this evil, whatever it is they throw your way, it is usually backfiring and going back to the senders. Even if it reaches them, for example, it penetrates through their aura and their energy field, it brings them to the flow, they are going to get back. But whatever they are getting back up, ladies and gentlemen, there's somebody falling. What do I mean by this? Whenever they rise, someone is falling. And I want, you to take a, I want you to take a very closer look at that person that is falling in that moment. That is the person that was trying to destroy you. Actually, actually, that is the person that destroyed you in the first place. That is the person that has been doing witchcraft. Is the person that has been doing black magic. They are the, person who has been, they are the people who have been casting spells towards you over these years. Whenever you rise, ladies and gentlemen, those individuals are falling. They will never see it coming. The karma that is going to hit them in the face, they will never see it coming. They are not even ready for it. They cannot handle that frequency because remember, when they have caused you a certain degree of pain, you are going through that suffering, of course.
because you're cursing, you're crying, you're in agony, you're in pain. In that particular moment, you're sending out a frequency into the universe. It may be just one word that you may say, or sometimes it may be a couple of thoughts that may be, rubbing, that may be running through your head. And normally those thoughts, ladies and gentlemen, they are going back to these individuals. That frequency, those individuals, they can never run away from it. When you have caused an angel a pay a degree, a certain degree of pain, they have sent out a powerful frequency into the universe. That frequency, ladies and gentlemen, it has got an address. It is going back to those individuals that have caused them that pain. And those individuals, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to hear a lot of deaths. I've told you guys, this thing of chosen ones is not a myth. I did not know who a chosen one is back in the days, but I've come to this awareness and enlightenment and I know that, okay, so these people actually exist on this planet. It is not a myth, ladies and gentlemen. These individuals, you are dealing with God's chosen people. You are going to hear deaths, ladies and gentlemen. You are going to hear sicknesses. You are going to hear losses. Anybody has come into your life and they have done anything, it does not matter. That's why I've told you guys. A person tries to mess with you. The best thing you can do, for, ladies and gentlemen, you can simply walk away and get out of their energy. And you can let the universe take care of these individuals. You do not have to push anything. You do not have to point a finger. You do not have to say a word. You do not have to fight back. Ladies and gentlemen, you are an earth angel. The only thing you have to do, you have to get back on your feet and walk away. It could be a month or two, it could be a year, it could be sometime a couple of days, it could be weeks. But I can guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, 1,000%. You're going to hear the news. The news is going to come back to you because sometimes the universe wants you to know what exactly has happened to those people. They came around and stole your cars. They came around and, and fired you from job for no apparent reason. They came around and stole your properties. They came around and stole your money. They came around and abused you, manipulated you, whatever it is they did to you, it does not matter, ladies and gentlemen, that frequency, it was a negative frequency. They have forced you to send out a certain frequency into the universe. That frequency has got an address. It is going to go to their address. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter who they, are, who they are with. It doesn't matter how far they hide, how far they run. It does not matter where they are. Ladies and gentlemen, that frequency is going to reach, uh, reach where they are at the right time. And it's going to slap them very, very hard in the face. They may never be able to get up. I can guarantee you this, ladies and gentlemen, 1,000%. What I'm simply trying to say is that sometimes there is people who mess with the, the wrong people. There is people who come around in your life, ladies and gentlemen, they do not even know who you are. The only thing they know that is, is that they hate everything about you. Why? Because they like us, because they dislike or they hate your light. They hate the way you carry yourself. They hate the way you move. And you see, one, one of the funniest things, even in this video, one of the funniest things you will see. A lot of times the people who hate you and envy you, they are doing better than you, you know? They have got their businesses running, everything is in order. They have got their families, you know, they're driving good cars, they're sleeping in mansions, everything is okay with them. But there is something that is very disturbing about a chosen one, because there is something that is within you. Those people, a lot of times, they may have the physical wealth, but they may not have the spiritual wealth, because the chosen one is a person who is blessed spiritually. They are blessed, they are, spiritual, they are spiritually wealthy. Before any wealth manifests in a physical form, in the life of a chosen one, that wealth, first of all, is going to manifest spiritually. And a lot of times, these individuals, on a very spiritual level, they can see you are going to be greater than them at some point in time. So that is exactly what is scaring them. It is the reason as to why they start to cause you a lot of pain. Even at that point that you have nothing, they will start to cause you pain, they will cause you delays, they will cause you setbacks, they will do everything you can never think about, any evil you will ever imagine in your life, and you're thinking in your mind, how is this person supposed to do these things when they're already doing better than me? 
it is because they can see on a very spiritual level they can see exactly where you're going and they know that you're actually spiritually abundant in every way and they do not have that within them material wealth can vanish spiritual wealth ladies and gentlemen is not going anywhere it is going to move along with you it will be with you in your spirit until the universe decides the right time to manifest that wealth in physical form into your life so the evil people normally they see these things before you even sometimes see them they can see something within you there is a beauty that is inside of you they know that they do not have they have never heard from day one why because they have always been vibrating on a very low frequency some of them have even accumulated a very big amount of wealth through manipulation through theft through lies through deceit and they have accumulated actually a lot of material wealth let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen there's going to be a time when you're going to look back and you're going to wonder what exactly happened to these people you have, we, we have seen them all, we have seen them all over the world There was a moment when everybody was talking about, oh, this person used to be wealthy, they used to have all these houses and all these mansions and whatever it is. You guys are seeing a lot of these abandoned mansions around the world. They have stolen, some, they have stolen loads of money, they have gone around and built a lot of houses, done everything, whatever they can think about with that money, and then eventually they have abandoned these mansions worth millions of dollars, and most of the, most of the time they have either downgraded or they have actually gone bankrupt completely. It is because that wealth, it was actually accumulated by deceit, by lies, by theft. They have destroyed some people to get exactly where they are. That is the reason as to why the universe will come around and sweep everything under their feet. And on the other hand, ladies and gentlemen, the people that they have actually destroyed and stolen from, those people, they are actually thriving. Even sometimes, most of the cases, they are doing better in life. So the opposite is happening. I've told you guys, whenever you rise, they fall. Look around you and look very closely. If you ever hear a story about somebody you knew, or you used to, you used to, know, used to know a guy back in the days, you know, those guys, maybe they were your bosses back in the days, probably they were your landlords, you know, many years ago. I'll tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. And something has happened, and you hear some stories of those individuals, and they're telling you that they have lost everything. Oh, you know what? They have been arrested, they are in hospitals, they are sick, or they have lost their houses, they have lost this. They have lost everything. You best believe, ladies and gentlemen, those are the individuals. They have done something with you, to you, back in the days. Most of the times, even, they don't even remember what, have they, what they have done to you. They are going down. I can tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. If you know that you are an evil person, and you are trying to destroy a very beautiful soul, you have got to stop immediately. You know there is something you have taken from somebody, it does not belong to you. That thing has been taken from somebody just to cause them a lot of pain and to leave them in a very sorry state. It is not too late ladies and gentlemen, you can get whatever it is you've taken from them and put it back and give it back to the rightful owners because I can guarantee you ladies and gentlemen, it is not going to stay with you. Whatever you have stolen from an earth angel, ladies and gentlemen, it is not going to stay with you. You have destroyed them, ladies and gentlemen. Go back and apologize to those individuals. It is as simple as that. Because you're not ready for what is coming to you. I can grant you this, ladies and gentlemen, 1,000%. So let me know think about this video in the comment section below. You guys know that I do love and appreciate your support. You can book a session with me. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. And until then... I'll catch you guys in my next one. There's a signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.